Good evening YouTube and tonight here on the Silver 5150 channel I want to delve into the world of ultra high premium coins. In my first video I talked to you about the ultra high relief. Um, I guess they were uh, proof like uh, Libertad's, the Kilo Libertad's I had. Well this isn't anything as grandiose but for some reason it is very special. It is the Queen Anne's Revenge Blackbeard um, Pirate uh, series 5 ounce silver coin okay and um the blackbeard series um well the coin itself is part of a pirate series that's coming out from uh australia i believe and let's go ahead and flip it over so we can make sure we know what the heck we're talking about here um yep so queen elizabeth here yeah, four nines uh fine silver five ounces all right and it's tuvalu so tuvalu i guess that's off the coast of australia but i'm pretty sure it's perth man let's be honest <clears throat> Anyway, um, this coin here, it really, really just goes out of its way to deliver detail. Now, I don't know how well you can see it here on the video, but the planks in the ship, the holes in the uh, canards, the detail of the clouds, the detail of the water, it's all there. Now, what's interesting about this coin is when it came out on pre-sale, or as soon as it hit the window uh, for sale, um, at Atmex, I believe it was, it was two forty nine. So for five ounces, that's fifty dollars an ounce. And I would not normally ever go crazy, you know, with a premium like that on a coin. But the minute was really low, and you know, after having stacked a bunch of generic stuff, you know, I decided to start, you know, upgrading the quality and stuff. And even with that, though, I got to have my broker um, come in and cherry pick the things that are actually worthwhile taking the leap on, because otherwise, you'll end up blowing a lot of money on stuff that. It's not going to appreciate or it's going to take you forever to get your premiums back. So this Queen Anne's Revenge, uh, the Blackbeard coin out of the Pirate series is coming out, man. It just, it just blows the others away. And let me see if I can kind of, I want to see if I line up those, <laughs> line up the letters. It looks like the ship's going we up sea now, you know, so. Um, but anyway, so that's, you know, how it looks. And it is a ultra high premium coin at two forty nine, dollars purchase price. Um, that's $50 an ounce for five ounces. And uh, that's pretty high premium. Even now, if you try to buy it, I think it's up to $70 an ounce if you want to get one, if you can get one. So very low premium coin. Um, I don't recommend starting out with stuff like this. This is advanced stacking, man. This is advanced stacking. You've already stacked a bunch of other stuff, and you can treat yourself to something like this. <clears throat> and at a premium, you know, of $30 over spot or $35, $33 uh, over spot, you better be darn sure that that's where you want to go. Now... The highest premium AU, or sorry, highest premium AG, highest premium silver I've run into is this right here. This is a one gram banknote. Well, from Atmex. And, you know, Atmex, you know, they're a bullion bank pretty much. And they made their own one gram um, fine silver, not three nines fine silver, um, banknote. And it's made out of silver, man. Check it. It's got their logo on the back. All right. And it's got the one dollar, well, the one on the back. It doesn't say dollar. But this is one gram. So I guess the one's for one gram. And it's pretty neat. It's got their logo on the back. On the front, it's got, you know, well, it was their, their symbol. And on the front, it's got the logo and stuff. One gram. You try to buy this at Atmex right now, and it's like twelve ninety nine. Now, you think about that. There is about 155 grams of silver in this coin. Okay, and it costs two forty nine upon purchase. One hundred fifty five grams. This is one gram, and it costs twelve ninety nine retail. You know, at Atmex. So, <clears throat> by that metric, if you wanted to figure out how much it would cost you to have an ounce in these one gram uh, increments, you'd be looking at something on order of three hundred and ninety dollars an ounce. Probably, you know, even closer to $400 an ounce trying to do one gram at a time in these notes to make yourself an ounce. So, you know, be on the lookout for things that are just a little too premium, a little too overpriced. This I happen to get for free at Atmex, which um, I guess after I bought so much, they took pity on me and says, here, we're going to send you a gram of silver. Tell you what, and give us, tell us your feedback. Tell us what you think. And so, you know, I told them, I said, very cool. You know, maybe this will be the new paradigm of, you know, uh, money. 
you know, uh, the new currency made out of actual metal is, is possible. Now, the durability thing would be an issue to where you'd have to laminate everything or, or figure out something other than that, though. You would um, really be a cool cat on the block to have these dollar size or these currency size, you know, grams of silver to spend on whatever you want to spend on. And uh, we'll talk about what you could probably do with a gram of silver at the height of the silver market uh, later. But for now, um, just keep an eye out for things that are a little too high price and a little too over premium. Okay, I will. Only if I get the stuff free like this will I take advantage of it. And only if I see something as beautiful as this coin. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Treat yourself, go online, take a look at it, and see what kind of effort they put in the coin. It's a fairly normal strike. It's not ultra high relief, I don't believe. But man, they just, they really, really made it count. So, this is Silver 5150 signing out from the ultra high premium uh, romp to uh, talk about that. And we will get to you next time. Have a good night.